Hey Leo, how are you? This is Mary Ellen. Welcome to Moonrise Cottage. So happy to have you here. Thanks for coming to stop by and pick up your messages. According to my guides, they're always very happy when people stop by. So Leo, my goodness, something really beautiful happening. This has been going on for a while. Some of you have entered into a relationship. Some time ago, for some of you, it might be new. Always the potential for this to be new. There are some of you who definitely, because if you look back at the readings, this has been going on for a while. So as these things evolve, perhaps you've come into your moment. Perhaps you've been traveling along with a very beautiful, really beloved partner for quite a while, and the relationship has been developing. So go just for fun, go back if you haven't seen all the other readings. Go back and look the last couple months, okay? So, um, Leo, where you're at at this point is you're just about ready to cleave yourself to that person. This love, look at the butterflies around the base of the tree. Isn't that beautiful? You are really putting down roots of love. You want to build a family with this person. You really want it all with them. You feel solid in the knowledge because you're rooting yourself together the bond is growing deeper and deeper you may very well have met your life mate it's quite beautiful yeah and the numerology this is 58 so the numerology adds up to a 14 which is a place of rest a place of quiet this is bringing calm to your life and it's igniting deep down in your heart a new journey see that the numeral one look at that heart fire You've been waiting for this, I think, Leo. You've been praying and begging the universe. My guides are saying, you know, sometimes dreams do come true. So, Leo, for you, your energy, that's the Ten of Cups. So, uh, you know, we have no doubt that general reading can't possibly be for everybody. My guides are telling me, you know, my job is to talk to the people who walk in their spirit realm, the light workers, the spirit walkers, the people who are really invested in living the life that brings to them some kind of spiritual destiny. Whatever words you want to put on it, my guides often say they don't care, as long as you understand the point. So you are very much loving this person. You have found your person. And I was saying it a couple weeks ago, I think, in the uh, April 1st reading, some of you are getting... Uh, contemplating marriage, you might be proposing to someone. You're in a new place. The relationship has been bonding and coming forward. Look at that six of wands, victory and love. Look at the coloration of the card. It's so beautiful. Purity, love, abundance. And in the placement, this is the card that represents the relationship. There's the love energy of the relationship. We're going to build out this line. That's you. That's obviously your partner. But it's looking right at you. Leo, you've done it. You've hit the... The guys just said, you got the golden nugget. And my brain said, yeah, it's the golden ticket from Willy Wonka. So there's your partner. Nine of Pentacles. They've been, on, they've been going through some stuff. Again, my guys are saying, look back at the readings and you'll see. But... They are, they are present now. They are of themselves. They've come through whatever they've come through. They've been journeying through the medicine wheel. It's been hard. They, a lot of you, for a lot of Leos, your partner's been through something really difficult. And if you look at the numerology, I believe, yes, it adds up to an eight. So, you know, the eight, if, if the loop of life, the symbol of infinity, they're going through the medicine wheel. I think they're almost done. But if you see the most prominent thing, there are two things. One is the lion, and the other is the snake. So lion is about gathering your power in order to be able to protect yourself and your family, rising into your place of power so that you can have security and feel grounded. It's earth-based uh, energy, as is the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you might be involved with an earth sign. The snake indicates the fire shaman. They have been suffering. This is about suffering through many snake bites, a lot of hardship, poison, 
poisoned relationships, something, my guys just said, something very dubious. And they've had to rise to meet the moment. So the story of the snake shaman is that they are able to transmute poison and they can suffer through the snake bite. It doesn't hurt them anymore. They've grown into their strength and their immunity, so to speak. It's fire shamanism. It's a lot of power. So these are all indicators of power. And then we see hummingbird. There's something very vibrationally high. High vibration, like the wings of a hummingbird. This person came flying into your life and just hovered there and fluttered. I think when you saw this creature, you were in awe. And so they're working on the factors of joy in their life. They are migratory. They may have a certain kind of life path that causes them to travel. It'll be interesting to hear your stories. But they've been needing to migrate in their own life to fly into the place of joy for themselves, to raise the vibration. And then we have eagle, long vision, power, the ability to glide on the drafts and the heat and the winds. So that is really beautiful. And of course, accompanied by this as an illustration. There's their, that's from the journey of love. They're having this sweet soul rising. They're very much in love with you. It is the cycle of the moon that they're responding to. And I think it is the connection that causes them to feel safe enough to have taken this journey. And they're doing it partly because they love you and they want the bond to be solid and they want to transmute whatever the poisons might be in their life and be done with it and rise above it. So let's take a look, beautiful Leo, and see what's here. There you go. There's on the bot. That's what's going on in the bottom of the deck. So you definitely want to move forward. You got this Ten of Cups love going on. You want to move it forward. Your partner has been through some difficulties in the way that we were speaking. It is what built them, my guides are saying. They had to go out and do some battles because uh, there was something, some legal battle, a court case, maybe a divorce. Something was very unjust in their world and it caused them to have to step into their power and go through a self-development. That's why nine of, or, yeah, nine of Pentacles is there. They're standing in their earth-based power now. While they're having this soul rising, look, ooh, they had some battles. They really did. So while you're with this person, respect them for what they're going through. Wow. My goodness, hang on, let me just look. Yeah, okay. There's the story. Here's the story my guides are saying. This person had to get really up in their power, had to get really rigid, had to exert their power, and had to demonstrate this is the seven of wands. They had to protect themselves. There was somebody was causing a lot of problems along the way while they were seeking justice. It made somebody really angry and they had to protect themselves and go through this battle and they had to sit in their life like this the emperor woohoo woo wee this is pretty intense thank you spirit they brought the tower down i think they prevailed whatever this was they brought the tower down they had to literally kick some ass and i'm not talking about beating people up i mean legally i think for a lot of them might have been a divorce something Something happened. All right, now let's take a look. Beautiful Leo. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put it down. Look what just happened. Okay, so there you are. That's the state that you're in. You're so in love with this person. You, This person has filled your cup of love. And it's a spiritual type of love. You know, it's the love of the universe. You are going to move this love forward. I really think from some of you, I'm going to hear messages about, yes, we set a date, things like that. You are moving into your ability to understand love, maybe for the first time in your life. Source energy that fills the cup, and you are the vessel. That's what you're experiencing. You are being filled by the source 
energy filling your vessel as a result of this victory in love. This person is your queen. Queen of Pentacles. I really think, I really do think this must be an earth sign of some kind, Leo. It's quite beautiful. And you know what? You are mirroring each other. Check it out. Nine of Pentacles. You both have it. Queen of Pentacles. This love helps you to build the life that you want. Thank you, Spirit. That's what the Queen of Pentacles does. She builds her realm. She brings forward family. She takes care of the family. So those are all the desires you're having. And you're standing very grounded, Nine of Pentacles, in this love. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that's a lot of cards. Okay, so what the guides are saying is this. I'm going to take the top two. The love was affected by whatever this battle was. It may have had to be, the forward motion may have had to be on hold for a minute because I think there was some healing that you both had to go through because of whatever this was. I think you went through it together. Something was lost and something will be gained, my guides are saying. So you had to go through something. You had to go through some kind of an ending. Look, there we go. Some kind of an ending had to happen, not in the relationship. I think it's tied up to your partner. You helped them go through this. They had something terrific happen to them. It was horrific, my guides are saying. But it was their destiny. And there they are. Nine of Cups. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. So... It was their destiny. The destiny of the relationship is going forward. This person's going to heal. It's okay. Some of you have had to transmute some kind of poison, and there you go. You need repair. You need rest. You need time to grieve until it's finished. It, Whatever this was with your partner, it affected the energy of the relationship. But it's destiny because... It was a blessing, my guides are saying. This was a blessing because the last thing you want is to carry this into the relationship. Your partner had to heal it. So, beautiful Leo, you're just sitting all up in yourself like that. You're just so happy. You have experienced wish, wish fulfillment with this beautiful Nine of Pentacles person who's having this sweet soul rising. Look, see that? Oh, bam. <laughs> like guys just said. So I'm going to, we're going to look real deep into this. We're going to pull some runes for you and your sacred lover in the extended, which will be on Patreon. The link is below, along with a link to my website. The new meditation classes are coming forward on the 2nd of May. Go check the website. There's lots of stuff on my website that I never talk about in my tarot readings. A lot of offerings, healing, life coaching, uh, soul retreats, etc. Okay? So, Leo, I'll see you over on the extended. We'll look more deeply into the destiny of this, and we'll try to get some information from the guides about when and where and how. Okay? Thanks for being here. I'll see you in May, believe it or not.